hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm presenting with this look you're really gonna enjoy it so definitely stay tuned so today i'm on with the pure beige um concealer just to kind of set my eyes i've been seeing this trend going along and i was like yeah definitely have to hop on this i need to give it a try i need to have a say in this you know what i'm saying but you know i love this trend i absolutely love this technique as well it's just if you've got an oily eyelid you want to look out for creasing i'll just recommend you to set it with some setting powder just to avoid creasing like the worst thing you can do is make a nice eye eyeshadow look here yeah? and it's creasing it is not even worth the hassle so do whatever works for you but i find that the concealer really makes the um shadows really pop so this is the sample beauty palette you guys <laughs> get your hands on it all right because this is lit i'm telling you now this is this thing here it's super pigmented like it's it's literally it's better than the morphe palettes i'll tell you that yeah I, i'll really tell you that but i basically just packed this on a whole lot and then blended it packed it on blended it packed it on some more blended it so you know it's a one two step kind of thing so basically I then went ahead and used this kind of like brow, kind of neutral colour, not really neutral but it's brown, you know, it's kind of, it's a warm brown and um, I basically just buffed out the, the kind of harshness you're seeing, just buffed it out, make it seamless and look nice and I also deepened the crease up some more because I wanted to give this um, look some character, you know, some flair. You know, some nice vibes, some deep vibes. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm going with this? So, I added some... This is chocolate, I believe, by Coastal Saints. Okay? It's a nice, nice, nice colour. Super pigmented. Check out the eyeshadow. Super pigmented. Um, the, see that? See that harsh line? That line of demarcation? I'm going to blend it out smoothly so you can't see it. Okay? And I went in with this black eyeshadow from Sample Palette. Um, sample beauty palette and just to again just to deepen up my crease give it some character and whatnot so we're cutting the crease now yeah this is a semi cut crease and i use the same concealer that i used to kind of set my base and whatnot so this is again pure beige by la girl pro concealer again cut cut creases or semi cut creases takes a while so don't worry you'll master it pretty soon so i basically as you can see i was tapping that on i like a smooth canvas for me to work on especially when i'm using glitters so i used the jolie bomb.com glitter palette and used my mixing medium and yeah this mixing medium is really good especially if you've got um hooded eyes so yeah so this um again this um palette was really nice it saves you the fuss of having glitter all over your face and wiping it off you know, it's really neat and i really like that but i felt like the glitters on it were a bit patchy in terms of packing it on so i went in with the black eyeshadow just to create some more depth you know in, um, in the outer corners of my eyeshadow and went in with coconut husk to set my brow bone just to make it, look, make it look really neat so i went in with mario badescu spray um just to hydrate my face went in with coffee this is an LA Girl um, foundation, absolutely lovely, but I feel like it's just a bit too dark for me. I really do feel it's um, just a little bit too dark for me. I'm not even that dark to me, but I did use the concealer in pure beige again to balance the look out. Like, I'd rather have a dark foundation because I always know concealer has my back in terms of balancing everything out. So, yeah, so it was, it was okay, it was fine. So I just, you know, blended that in with um, a Kabuki brush. By the way, all my brushes that I use are from AliExpress. If you want like um, a video on that, I can definitely do that. Um, this is Neutral Light by Black Opal. This um, routine has not changed. It's still standard. It hasn't changed. So it's what I still do. Um, I went in with Dark Deep by MAC. And just to, you know, I guess pull the look together really. So I'm looking a bit cool to here. I'm looking a bit dull, a bit grey. So I'm adding some warmth back into my face, shall I say. Um, so I'm using the sleek palette in dark um, I also use the um, sleek blush palette you know just to bring some more warmth to my face some nice you know I'm not I'm not that gray come on it's looking a bit gray you know so um, so I smoked the lash line with some purple 
didn't do much with the brows to be honest i really didn't i went in with golden afterglow i believe i don't know it'll be linked down in this description box it's a it's a drugstore um what is a highlight and it's really nice and inexpensive really inexpensive like three pounds i think so round my lips with a regular brown liner and i use the lip gloss by colourpop so today we weren't using lashes why because it's not everyday lashes okay it's really not everyday lashes you can still finesse a look without lashes so this is your look guys please don't forget to like subscribe and show your girl some love and leave a comment down below i'll see you guys in my next video